Every man has his limit, and the only way to find it is to go past it. Racing is about challenging the boundaries of your fear, your nerves, and your skill. It's about strapping yourself into a machine that's sole purpose is to convert gasoline into adrenaline. And once you've done it, you never crave anything else. Underground racers have traditionally maintained a low profile in Redview County, but since a video of a racer outrunning a cop went viral last night, dozens of other racers have begun posting their videos as well. The district attorney has been very vocal on the subject, stating that law enforcement agencies will be investigating all street racing videos, and anyone they identify will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. They say Stockholm Syndrome is when victims begin to identify with their captors. When you begin to accept and even love the very people who oppress and abuse you. We are born free, resisting authority, daring to climb, to run, to defy the status quo. But then one day, we break. The mayor took time out of his busy schedule today to visit Officer John McManus at Redview County Hospital, where he is receiving treatment for injuries sustained in the line of duty. According to a police spokesman, law enforcement will not stop until those responsible are brought to justice. If there is one lesson the police should learn from this, it's that they can't keep up with us. Officer McManus pushed his limit but ours was further. They say we endanger the public, but they are the ones who aren't in control. But they don't want the truth. They want revenge for a crime that was never committed. The police were our rivals. Now, they are our enemies. Internal Affairs says it is expanding its investigation into excessive force accusations against members of the department. And the police chief announced he is suspending all patrols. In the meantime, the FBI's vehicle response team has been called in to secure the city until the police are cleared of wrongdoing. Now we have a new enemy, the VRT, ex-special forces and ex-street racers they kind of carry a grudge. They don't play by the same rules the cops do. Their only purpose is to end you. The feds were sent in to make the streets safer, but they have only made them more dangerous. More dangerous for us, and more dangerous for the public caught in the crossfire. While many racers are throwing in the towel, a new batch just showed up. Their leader goes by the handle, Fate. No one knows where he came from, but he's issued an open challenge to all racers. This town is now in the national spotlight, and the spotlight is where you make a name for yourself. Our rivals define us. They prove our place in the food chain. Fate wants to use me to define him. I will use him to define me. The internet is buzzing tonight with newly released videos of a racer calling himself F8 or Fate, wreaking havoc on other street racers during a race. We all know street racing is a contact sport, but this level of racer on racer violence is unheard of. They say Fate is a racer, but to those of us who have seen his shadow in our rear view, his tactics are unmistakable. There are those who drive for freedom, for release, and there are those who drive to release their aggression, to dominate. Fate isn't one of us. Fate is a cop. The police seek to corrupt us from the inside. If they are going to use our cars to send a message, we will use theirs. Tonight, I will wear the wolf's clothing. The public is outraged after learning that all officers have been cleared in the use of excessive force. While there have been some reports of civil unrest, increased law enforcement presence has prevented any. 
One racer in particular, codenamed Zephyr, has become viewed as a sort of Robin Hood character after stealing a police car and leading the cops on a massive chase. This is bigger than racing now. We're sending a message, and people are listening. This is an open manifesto to all street racers. I am not your enemy. I am not a threat. I am your rival. I will make you drive harder. I will give you purpose. The police have called us a network of racers and classified us as an organized criminal enterprise. Until today, this was a lie. Until today, we were not organized and we were not a coordinated network of outlaws. But today, the lie becomes true. Within the last hour, multiple news outlets received a video from a source claiming to be Zephyr. He says he is issuing an open challenge to all street racers and law enforcement. In the video, he has posted a map where racers and cops can settle their rivalry once and for all. While law enforcement is billing this as a declaration of war by the racing community, Zephyr claims it is, quote, the ultimate reality show. We are coming to you with live footage from Redview County, where the racer known as Zephyr has just been involved in a horrific high-speed collision with local police units. Paramedics are making their way to the crash site as we speak, but from this vantage point, it's hard to picture anyone surviving a wreck like that. I am the reality show. The 15 minutes you'll never have. They say speed kills, but if you aren't speeding, then you aren't living.